place. I guess that we're ready day one for these microtransactions. Hey everyone, I'm Player One, and I'm coming to you with some news of how business works in the video game world. Today, Deus Ex Mankind Divided was officially released. Those of you who picked up a copy can now look at your microtransactions or DLC available first day. You'll see that in the whole list of things you have credit packs, assault packs, tactical pack, and praxis kit, etc. The ones that should really concern you are the credit packs and the praxis kits. Those of you who played Human Revolution, you know that praxis kits are necessary. That's how you open up your augmentations. As far as credit packs are concerned, obviously they're just money, in-game money. This is becoming a thing that you see in all the big AAA games. There's something wrong here, I think. But before we get into it, in a GameSpot interview in June, Floor Marty, the producer of Mankind Divided, talked about some of these possible microtransactions. Specifically, the idea that you don't need them throughout the game, and they will tip the odds a little bit in the favor of whoever buys them, but it's not a big deal. The quote is, we're really treading very carefully here. We don't want the game to be pay to win, especially since we're starting with a AAA game that people are already paying for. Everything sounds great, right? Well, if we see the list again, we see that's not quite the case. We're starting to see this as a pattern, as I was saying before, with all these AAA games. They say you don't need the DLC to play the game, that it's not any harder. But that's interesting, because if we think back to games like Mortal Kombat X, we notice that they had the easy fatalities. It's beyond the idea that these are cheat codes in the games, and some people don't like them because they make you feel like the game can be beat easier. That's not the point. Everybody has the right to experience a game however they want. The issue is when these companies are charging you extra money for what used to be provided free that cost them very little, if anything, to even create. Things like easier one button fatalities or being able to unlock the crypt completely. Or in this case, being able to level up your character on the first day, on the first mission, all the way up if you wanted to pay for it. Those are cheat codes. I remember a time when cheat codes were included in the game. And we all know they're in the game code already. The only difference being that you're paying the DRM to unlock these codes. That's not cool, at least not in my opinion. This has gotten out of hand. I mentioned already Mortal Kombat, but you also get JRPGs that charge you for Japanese voices because they know a lot of people like the Japanese voices with the text versus the English dubs. You get things like emotes in Destiny or in the Star Wars uh, Battlefront. You're paying for emotes. You're paying for things that are already in the game. They try to sell you on the idea that they, they took so much extra time to create that. Don't lie to yourselves, guys. That stuff is part of the code. It's no different than any other animation. This has all become a business to take more and more money from you. Get to that 120 that they try to get to for every single game. This is frankly one of the reasons why I try to avoid buying games day one unless they're actually something, maybe a niche game or something like that. Big AAA games, they've been mostly a letdown. Of course, this doesn't count all the issues with day one patches, games not working the first day, games like No Man's Sky having literally false advertising and misleading uh, quotes from the developers and the producers and not working the first day. Issues with games like Destiny that were garbage the first day, skeletons of what the real games should be, yet charging the full amount. In the end, it's up to you if you want to buy these games. I think people who want to have a little bit more control about what they're buying should vote with their wallets. Wait a month, wait two months, less than a month from now, you'll probably have a $10 discount on Mankind Divided. Come Black Friday, you have $20 discount. You've already waited years for this. Why not wait a couple more days and let them know that you're not going to have it anymore? Well, guys, that's just my opinion. That's something to think about. If you are comfortable with this kind of microtransactions, let me know why. I'd love to hear the other side of the table. I can't find justification for charging me for a cheat code that's already in the game. I can't find justification for getting a game and cutting it into pieces and slowly selling it to me. There's that misconception that game developers and publishers aren't making money. Trust me, this is a billion dollar industry. They have the money and they're making it. But maybe I'm missing something. Let me know if you guys think I'm missing something. Otherwise, let me know if you do agree. All right, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed and hope to hear from you guys soon.